Good day YouTube and welcome back to Moonshine Vapor and today we're looking at another new five juices from a company called Slush Puffy. These juices are 70-30 PUVG, zero nicotine, they're in 60ml bottles, we've got 50ml of juice in there already as you can see and obviously you get your nick shot for the top up. Okay. So I have to be honest, I have not vaped these yet, so it's the first time I'm doing, it, I'm doing them on camera now for the first time. Um, the flavours we've got are grape, sour apple, strawberry, oops I'm gonna make knocking it over there. Uh, fruit salad and blackcurrant. So the first one I'll kick off with is the grape. Okay. Let's see what these babies taste like. Now, just as a first pull there, it tastes like um got the, the syrup going onto the ice and that slush puppy the coolada side of it is not as bad as I thought it would be to tell you the truth it is very low but the great thing about it that is um, for me you get to know that great flavour and slight cooling at the end of it. Nice and sweet. I think for me, these juices probably would be a lot better in a tank than actually trying to drip them because I'm feeling right on the edge, coughing. That's only because of the cool lard in it. Nice juice, nice tasting juice. Very clean as well as you can see from the bottle. Okay. So that's the first one, which is the grape. The second one we're going on to is sour apple. Say. It does smell like a Jolly Rancher a sweet, a apple version. It's got a bit of a soury sweet kick to it, just the smell. And that baby. nice it's cool on the side again like it says it's got on the dripper you have to have some strong lungs to probably take this kind of hit on the, on the dripper these juices in, in for me i think they're better in a, uh, a high ta only in your normal kind of tanks <coughs> so the apple's there. Not heavy. Loads and loads of that sour apple flavour is just bouncing around my palate. But all I'm struggling with, like I said, is, is the cool lardo side of it. Even though it's very low, it still catches me sometimes. I'd have to probably be vaping on this juice for probably about a good 20 minutes to half an hour before my, my larynx probably settle down a bit in the back of my throat.
<laughs> is a nice flavoured juice. And it does taste like the slush poppy itself. Like I said, this is that cool side of it for me. It really catches me in the throat. So I will struggle to take a big shot of that. So that was the sour apple. Ah. Excuse me. What do you want? Come on. What are you after? Ah, you say hello to everybody. No? Get out then. Go on, out you get. Trouble. Oh, you're looking for trouble, this dog is. As I was saying, uh, get off my bag. <laughs> Stole a bottle of juice there the other day, he did look a shit. Took it out in the back of his kennel. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> That's it. Took out in the back of his fucking kennel. Look kind of a little shit. Just as I was going into the, uh, do a, a review on them particular juices there, I was sort of looked up, that's what was missing. I thought, I don't know, I can't even go search for it at that time of night. Could have been anywhere. So, anyway, let's get back to this slush, slushy puffy. Slush puffy, sorry. Strawberry. This has got low mint in it as well. Strawberry's nice. Cool ardour's getting me. I can't take it. Sometimes I can vape it and I'm alright. Sometimes I come at it again. Mm. The smallest pull. But like I said, I am doing this on a dripper. I know if it'd be in a tank, mm. it would calm itself down. It wouldn't be as, as, as punchy as it is right now from dripper. Strawberry's nice. The flavours are banging. I'm not lying to you. The flavours are banging all the way through. When it says strawberry, you can taste the strawberry fully for what it is. It's more like a strawberry syrup. You can, you can identify from that syrup that I thought over the ice cone, over the crushed ice. Nice flavours, that's the strawberry. And like I said, the juice is clean as hell, you can see it through the bottle. No funny aftertaste. Just spot on juices, man, to tell you the truth. Now we're going to try the fruit salad, which is going to be a very interesting one. Very crystal clear juices, there's no colouring. We add it to all these kind of flavours and stuff like that. Let's see what this baby say. Right. It does smell like fruit salad. Let's clear my palette again. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Now, for me, the fruit salad, I was really looking forward to vaping this. And for me, it feels like it's just lost its way in the combination. This could be me, by the way. I think the cool lard side of it is tricking me. But the flavour is not as, I don't find it as pungent as the other ones I've just vaped. It's okay, but I don't just find I don't I'm not find the flavours it actually hits me compared to the ones I've just gone through. To tell you the truth. It does taste like the fruit salad. I'm getting that there now. But it's, I need the, that flavour to be just turned up probably by another two percent. That's for me personally. The, the, the flavours, the combination of the flavours they're using to get that fruit salad as well. 
I think each one of them probably needs to be turned up like um, one percent, two percent here and there. Cause you can feel the flavour fighting for, for the for dominancy, if you're gonna call it call it that. But it smells better than we actually taste this this particular fruit salad. Mm. Nice flavours, spot on. Absolutely. So that's the fruit salad. Last but not least, we're going for the black currant. So it's crystal clear. Zero nicotine in these bottles. 50 ml, 60 ml bottles. Alright, let's get this baby on the go. We've got this on temperature temperature control, sorry. So uh, 450 Fahrenheit at 41.1 watts. Let's let the camera cool down a minute. There you go. So I'm hoping the flavour will be more calming. Well, that's just the flavour, it's the cool harder side of things. It kind of cools it down a bit. Alright, so the blast. Black one is nice, man. Nice, sweet, succulent black one. And it kind of falls actually because if your mouth fills up with that black one straight away, and just on the exhale, that cool lard just comes in and touches you. It's not a heavy punch, like I said, it's not, it says on the bottle, low, low mint, that's what they call it. But for me, like I said, it couldn't be low enough, it needs to be a slightly lower. Beautiful black currant, man. Just for me, it's just bought with the cool larder, and that's what I struggle with sometimes. Really, kind of disappointed. Nice flavors and juice, but I'm struggling to enjoy it because of the cool larder side of it. And the cool larder is very low. Like I said, it would take me, I reckon, put this in my tank a good half an hour, 45 minutes. Take it, take it small it's and I think in the back of my throat will start to adjust to what's going on then you know to me and I get to enjoy it a lot more but you know if you do like these kind of like um, these icy kind of vapes you can't go wrong with these like because of the flavours on them are absolutely spot on I'll tell you my preference first and foremost um, it's going to be the grape black currant um, the strawberry, the sour apple, and last but not least, will be the fruit sandwich for me. Trust me, but I'd hope to do these ranges where they can just knock the cool lava down or out of them till, or even out of them till the truth, and just make it a, a fruity slushy. You know, I, mean, I don't know. It's hard for them. To, I know. I know what they're trying to do. I like it a lot. Flavours are kicking, apart from the fruit salad, like I says, not too keen on. But the rest of the four flavours here are spot on. And I am going to try and force myself to vape these because of the flavours, are way out there for me. They really are. It's a pleasant, pleasant vape, really is. I'll be, I'm going to explain my ideas, they're getting me to tanks. I should have just done these off tanks anyway, to tell you the truth. But I just needed to get the flavour, to get the true flavour it. And that tells me where these juice are at, kind of thing, you know, to me. So, my advice, yes, grab them, you're going to like them. If you're not into cool larder, then you stay away, obviously. But they're not heavy in cool larder, and that's the truth. It is a low mint. It just takes time for me person to adjust to what's that even though I've been smoking vent like menthol like this is like um a take on the redder stare it's all about everyday vape you know what I mean so 
I am a menthol smoker. But cool lighter things seems to have a, that slight effect to me sometimes where I have to sort of like wean myself onto it, if, if you know what I'm coming from, and that. Wean myself onto that juice, and I'll be all right throughout the day. I'm starting to suck a bit more now. Clive is kicking me. Really is. Definitely have to try these in, in, uh, in my tanks. You can purchase juices from um, PNS Wholesale in Birmingham. I to thank Kieran once again for giving me these juices for the purpose of this review. Also, for distribution purposes, you can contact Savvy Vape. Sorry, Savvy Distro. <laughs> Get myself right here again. .co.uk. I leave all the details in the drop box. Um, these will not be in the shops probably till Monday, this Monday. So if you see this video between here and now, by Monday, this Monday here, you should have them in stock on the website as well. Okay, this is Moonshine Vaporate. Share, comment, like. Have a good rest of your weekend, and I'll see you guys shortly with some of my new products. Moonshine Vaporate.